How you going, legends? Well, I'm waiting for a few guys to tune in. I'm just going to take you for a bit of a wander around my villa here in Bali. This is special transformation Tuesday coming to you from Bali. So I'm here in Ubud and check this out. Check out my villa. It's a pretty amazing space. Look at this. Beautiful evening here. A little bit balmy, a little bit wet. And I've got this beautiful place to call home for the next few days. So hope you guys are doing well. Tonight I'm going to be dropping into a couple of topics that are close to my heart that have been sort of resonating with me. So I'm just going to be sharing some insights, things I've been pouring through from spending some time here in Bali. Let me know if you guys can see me, hear me. Hey Monica, hey Daddy. Good to see you guys here. Can you see that? You guys might be able to see that. This is my villa anyway. Welcome to Transformation Tuesday, guys. A little bit of a different scene than usual. Here coming to you live in, in Ubud, in Bali. And I'm just going to, hopefully, my internet is still decent as I wander around here, giving you guys a bit of the tour. Hey, Angela, good to see you. And I just want to share some little insights that I've been noticing about the Balinese people, about their presence, their way of being, their attitude, their philosophy to life that I think we can learn a lot from uh, as, well, in the Western world, in Australia at least anyway. Um, Hey Monica, good to see you here. Yeah, life's hard. <laughs> well, it's funny, it's, uh, you know, hey Mike, good to see you. The thing about, you know, life is, you know, the guys here in Bali, you know, we were just, I was just driving along in the scooter just before, and there was a guy, um, there was a man that was, uh, he was, hey Deb, good to see you here. There was a man that was carting a big bag of grass, and just looking at him thinking, does this, is this person any uh, any more happier, any more fulfilled uh, than anyone else in the world who has maybe a corporate job who's rocking up to an office? And just got me thinking, well, this person, you know, depending on how you look, view your reality, depending on how you view your life, will create the emotion, the meaning, the perspective, the resilience, the, the sense of fulfillment that you've got in life. So who's to say that this guy, hey Deb, good to see you here, hey Dora, who used to say this guy was literally driving along on his bike carrying just literally transporting grass for a job? I don't even know, maybe maybe he was transporting it for food or whatever, but it just got me thinking like this person, their life isn't any more or less meaningful than anyone anyone else. And our, life, our quality of our life is not determined by the stuff that we have, by the possessions that we own. It's ultimately determined by each and every moment, our perspective that we are creating in the moment about what life means for us. So it, it really is an important concept, I think, for a lot of people to, to really relate to because there's plenty of people in life that have the money. There's plenty of people in life that have the stuff. They have the external success. They have, you know, there's plenty of my clients that I work with that have had all the money in the world, but are they necessarily fulfilled? No, not necessarily. If we have all the money in the world, but if we don't have fulfilling relationships, if we don't have fulfillment, if our life doesn't have a sense of meaning and contribution and purpose, then it's a very, very empty existence. So these are the these are the types of concepts that I want to make sure everyone is really contemplating is, you know, we don't get long to live here in this life. Hey, cheers, Ross. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. We don't have long to live at all. And we've got to make the best use of our time focusing on what what, what gives us meaning, What what's what is fulfillment to us? Even just asking that question, what is fulfillment? Because for a lot of people, you know, they spend a lot of their life chasing, and I certainly did. I spent a large percentage of my life chasing fulfillment, um, but it wasn't actually fulfillment. It was just status. It was the ego wanting to seek validation, wanting to feel acknowledged, wanting to get, wanting to feel like I had a mount, I had amassed a particular amount of money, or I had a certain number of properties. And really, what it comes down to is, it's, it's about none of that. It's about knowing that in each and every moment you are the you are the purest and most authentic expression of you in each and every moment, and you are being you. You are being the expression of your true and, and authentic self. And I think we've got to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves to a degree, because if we're not constantly checking in and saying, well, how am I doing? How fulfilled am I? Then life can get the better of us. Life can, can certainly it can certainly run away from us. And I've certainly seen that in many of the clients that I've worked with. I've experienced it in my own life. And it's just something that we've got to stay on top of. So, I thought I'd I thought I'd extend the conversation to begin to talk about some concepts in and around just looking at our limitations. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna wander over here and see if you guys can see me a little bit better. If there's a, if there's a bit more light over this side, let me know if you guys can see me up here. Um, 
Maybe not. We'll see how we go. But I wanted to talk about limitation. The thing about limitation is, and I don't think you guys can see me any better over here. I'm going to go back this way. <laughs> the thing about limitation is that we all have limitations. We all have things that are holding us back. Now, they could be emotional limitations. They could be physical limitations. They could be things that are just holding us back. Things where we're not taking action where we know we should be taking action. So really what this comes down to is we need to be, we need to acknowledge, well, what is that limitation? What is specifically what's that limitation inside of us? And then once we're aware of that limitation, oh, can you guys see me? Here we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Here we, here we go. Hey, Fed, good to see you. Once we become aware of that limitation, we can actually start to do something about it. We can actually start to move beyond it. Until we become aware of that limitation, we can't do anything about it. So the limitations I want to get you to inquire to see, uh, to help you move beyond or become aware of, are going to be things like, well, where do you feel like you're inauthentic? Where do you feel like you're not able to express your true self? Where do you feel like you're holding back? Where do you feel like you're wearing a mask? Where do you feel like you feel like you're needing validation from someone else? Where do you feel like you're wanting validation to gain significance, to gain worthiness? Where do you feel like you want to be taking action, but you're not taking action? Now, that could be anything from the moment that you wake up in the morning and you're not actually getting up out of bed because you want to sleep in. Well, that's a limitation. So it's taking a look at what is that limitation? Is it laziness? Is it health? Is it lack of sleep? Is it not having standards yourself? Is it, what is it? Is it not having goals? Is it not having aspirations? So same thing is if anyone's in a career or business and they don't particularly like it, well, what's the limitation? Is that you don't know what you want to move into? Is it that you want to earn more money? Is that you want to travel? Is it you want to have a, a more fulfilling job? Is it like, under, it's really starting to chunk down on, well, what's the specific elements of limitation? What are those elements of limitation? Because we can't confront it. We can't move beyond it unless we actually acknowledge what specifically it is. So for example, for me, for a large part of my career, one of my limitations was I didn't know what my purpose was. I didn't know what my passions were. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I, I didn't actually recognize that that was the limitation I needed to conquer. What I did was I was just very, very complacent. And I just said, well, I just don't know what my passion and purpose is, so I'm just gonna wait it out. <laughs> now, the thing about this is, if I was to go back now and, and have a, an authentic conversation with myself, the advice that I would give would be something like this. It would be, it would be well, if you don't know what your passion and your purpose is, well, your mission in life is to find out what your passion and purpose is. So that becomes your challenge. You don't have to figure out how to build a business or figure out you know, the 20 steps after that. All you need is the first step, which is, well, what am I passionate about? What am I truly connected to? Uh, and then to start to do the, do the work. Thanks for the love, Daddy. Hope you're well, brother. So really, it's just identifying, well, what's the single biggest limitation that we're experiencing right now? And what are we doing about it? So at each and every moment in your life, you should have, what is my life's biggest limitation? Now, it might be fear of rejection, fear of criticism, it might be lack of clarity, lack of sense of purpose, lack of motivation. Fear of, fear of being found out, fear of being criticized, fear of being judged. Maybe it's, who knows what? You, you could have, an, you could have a, a hundred different elements that are all limiting you, but you've got to understand, well, which of those is, has the biggest limitation on you? Which one of those is actually holding you back the most? So when you become aware of that limitation, you can only then can you break through it. So it's really creating a hit list of limitations. What are your limitations? Now, they might be beliefs. They might be emotional experiences. They might be relationships that you're in that you need to either restrict the amount of time that you're spending with that person or either eliminate or end the relationship completely. Maybe you're in a relationship that's not serving you. Maybe you're in a career that's not serving you. So you really have to look at, well, what are all the limitations in each of the dimensions of life? Career, business, health, finances, relationships, social life, lifestyle. What are all those limitations that you're experiencing? Not judging the limitation, right? But just acknowledging it because if you don't acknowledge it, you can't move beyond it. So uh, a couple of episodes back, we looked at our vision for our life. Now, for those that haven't seen, I recommend going back and looking at how to create a vision for your life. The next step after that is to actually look at, well, where you are now and where you want to move to, there's an obstacle in the way. Now, that's your limitation. And that might be a belief. That might be a, a fear. That might be something that's getting in the way of you creating that result for your life. So that is what you've got to get clear on. What is the limitation? What is that? What specifically? When does it happen? How does it happen? How are you choosing to subscribe to that limitation? How long has it been there for? Uh, so really, this conversation is around, it's not about pretending like we have no limitations, because we do have limitations, but 
all of them are resolvable. We can move beyond all our limitations. And the starting point is to first of all acknowledge them, to be, I'll acknowledge the limitation, to become aware of it. Once you acknowledge it, you can then understand it. Once you can understand it, you can then be empowered to let that limitation go. Because if you don't understand it, you can't let it go. Because it's just it remains in the, dom in the domain of the fuzzy, ambiguous, just some general limitation. So really, you've got to get specific on understanding, well, what is that limitation? How does it play out? Like, for example, uh, let's, go, let's go back to my, one of my favorite examples, which is maybe taking a plunge and going in and starting your own business. Because I know there's a lot of things, that's a, that's a hot topic that I know a lot of my clients are in the process of doing. Now, is the limitation, well, what is it? Is it fear of failure? Is it fear of success? Is it not having the information? Is it maybe that's not maybe it's not that I haven't got enough information? Maybe it's that I don't have the courage or the boldness to actually take action and get started. Maybe, so again, you've got to ask: well, Is the limitation in skill, knowledge, or experience? Is it in belief systems? Is it in fear? What is that limitation, and what dimension does it sit in? And then we've got to do that for each each of the dimensions of our life. So I trust that resonates, guys. Really, it's not about pretending like we don't have limitations. In order to move beyond our limitations, we have to acknowledge them. We have to, and first of all, acknowledge, become aware of, and then understand, and then take action to resolve and dissolve those limitations at the belief level, at the mindset level, at the behavior level, at the action level. And sometimes we've got to take drastic action to eliminate those limitations. Now, I can tell you right now, there is someone in the world right now whose number one specialization in their life, in their career, in their business, their problem solving skill, is solving your life's biggest limitation right now. So that's a beautiful truth of reality. Isn't it great that we live in the light, we live in a reality where your biggest problem right now is already been handled by someone and even more than that, that's their niche, that's their specialization. So all you need to do is get connected with that person who can solve your life's biggest problem and then bang, you then move on to the next person. So for example, for me, I help my clients overcome the fears, the limitations, the limiting beliefs, help them get clarity. So for example, with my clients, I can help them pretty much with most of their internal mindset problems, I can help them overcome every single one of their internal problems. Because as soon as you can become aware of it, we can understand it, we diagnose it, we then take action and move beyond it. So there is, I just wanted to share this as a message of hope to let everyone know that when you do have a limitation, it is simply a limitation until you understand it. Once you understand it and take action on it and get assistance with it, it's no longer a limitation. It now becomes the work. It now becomes embarking upon a journey to actually do the work to to embody in, uh, resolving and dissolving that challenge. So this is one of the most important parts is I recommend everyone has a, a list of challenges, a list of limitations, everyone has a list of fears, everyone has a list of limiting beliefs. You've got to document and, and docu you've got to document and list all these limitations so you can move beyond them. Uh, because if you're not able to move beyond them, well, you're gonna get stuck where you are. So this is a really powerful philosophy that I recommend everyone journals into. You should be journaling daily. At the end of every day, there's so many action steps, there's so many learnings and realizations that you gain from every single day. If you were to capture every single realization, every learning from every day, and you were to capture that and take action on that the following day, then you're gonna create more results in one year than people can create in a lifetime because you're more conscious, because you're more reflective, you're observing the patterns and the habits and limitations, and you're doing something about it. So I recommend you journal nightly, you journal every single day, and you record those limitations, and you commit to a plan to breaking through those. So that's it for tonight, guys. Um, it's getting a little bit late here. I'm in Bali, and I'm excited because I'm just about to go out for a dinner. I'm about to go and have a massage, and yeah, <laughs> it's great to be back in Bali running my business from, from abroad and overseas, and that's, the, that's one of the great things about my business is I can be anywhere in the world with an internet connection and I can still do business. So again, another message of hope for any aspiring entrepreneurs, coaches, or just people that are wanting to have that freedom and wanting to have that financial viability. Yes, the technology that we've got these days makes that not only possible, but it's becoming more and more standard. So uh, as always, uh, yeah, thanks Monica, thanks Birdo. Good to see you guys. Yeah, as I said, guys, you've got to create a hit list of all your limitations, your fears, your limiting beliefs, you know, even where elements where you're judging yourself, what are all those elements that are, that are preventing you from expanding from where you are now to the ultimate vision of yourself? Once you get clear on specifically what those limitations are, you can break through them. So get specific, that's where you'll find the magic happens. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks Monica, thanks Angela. Thanks Berto, Tyler, Daddy, Caddy, all you guys for tuning in. Sending you guys lots of love. Um, I'll be putting plenty of posts up this week on my personal page on what it's like to be back here in Bali scooting around on a moped, going and eating lots of nice healthy food, getting lots of massages, 
uh, life's pretty good. So, yeah, very, very grateful to be able to do this. And, yeah, life's pretty freaking amazing. So thanks, Mike. Good to see you here, mate. Uh, good to see you here, Dora. Thanks, Angela. Sending you guys lots of love. And as always, wishing you guys a beautiful week until next Tuesday. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.